Good afternoon, my name is Andy Coyle. I'm going to show you this gorgeous 1952 Ford F1. This thing is a total restoration, high quality. It's equipped with original flathead, but it has front disc brakes, 12 volt, and I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of a subtle difference in colors between the trim and the tan. Exterior chrome is great. Comes with these uh, 1952 correct California license plates, year of manufacture they're called. Running boards, the correct wheel, wheel covers, beautiful condition bed. Inside is absolutely primo. So it has the right vinyl interior, beautiful vinyl headliner, one visor which was optional. See beautifully restored fuel tank. You look underneath and this stuff shows really this is a quality restoration. This has the heater underneath. It, the rubber is perfect. Underneath that is perfect. Look at the detail. Look at the wiring. It's all done first cabin. So we're gonna pop the hood and show you the show you the beast. My friend Jerry Wakefield here is assisting me. This has beautiful little flathead V8. Has these air horns or some kind of horns up here. I don't think they're air, but they're horns. It's all lock stock other than it's 12 volt and the front disc brakes. Tires look new. Tires look like the correct original width. We're going to go for a quick test drive. And I'll hand the camera over to my cohort, Jerry. The paint on this car and the truck is excellent. So, uh, Glove box has the original, all the original specs, owner's manual. Very cool. So you got that heat. It's three speed. You have lights, throttle, choke. Very easy. The parking brake works. The sequence is you turn it 180 degrees. Hit the starter button over here with the clutch all the way in. Fires right up. As a as a note, this uh, this vehicle, the guy drove it here from, I believe Huntington Beach. So it's not a trailer queen; it's a driver. But it looks like a trailer queen as far as fit and finish, paint quality, and the fact that the guy put the. Uh, but just brakes on it is, is excellent. So it shifts perfect. And you know, I think this thing, they said it'll go 55 miles an hour. And I believe it now. The speedometer is off. It says we're doing 30. I'm guessing we're doing 40, 45. There's virtually no play in the steering. Uh, it's absolutely spot on correct. So we'll see how she stops. Stops nice and straight. Yeah, it stops really nice. The gauges all work as a half tank of fuel. Temperature shows hot. I don't think that's right. Battery charging. Oil, 30 pounds of pressure. It's not hot, so I question that, but super truck. The clutch feels good. No clatter. But it's definitely a 52 Ford. It's no luxury. It actually performs better than I expected. And it goes down the road nice. It has the original style bias ply 
kind of skinny tires. I would imagine if you put radials on this car, truck, you would get a little better ride and a little better steering feel. It drives out great. It has turn signals, which work. We'll put it back it in. So let's review. This is a 1952 Ford. The original flathead. It's a three-speed column shift. Disc brakes. It's a clean California title. It's smog exempt. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks very much.